and welcome to Radio Vision Network. This is Carol Moore, and our show today is called Camp with Mrs. Whitebriar. For those of you who know and have been here often, for the past couple of years, every time we are on, we bring our meeting of the Ben Franklin Stamp Club together by banging the gavel. We call it the Ben Franklin Stamp Club because Ben Franklin, who you can see right here, Ben Franklin was the first Postmaster General in the New World, the United States, and we honor him by studying postage stamps. Now, today, we're going to be talking about many, many stamps, but what I want you to do is to send me a self-addressed stamped envelope. Just send it to Camp Whitebriar in Beverly, New Jersey, 08010 is our zip code, just write Whitebriar. And uh, it will get to us. Our house has been there 300 years, and everybody in the postal system knows where Whitebriar is. Beverly, New Jersey, 08010 is the zip. And send me a self-addressed stamped envelope, and I will send you in return a page for you to start your own stamp book collection. Just like this three-ring notebook that I have beside me, this is just an old three-ring three -ring binder, and my pages that I'm going to mail to you will fit in there very, very well. But this is an important time of the year, right before Christmas, because the post office has a ton of, uh, of Christmas-type stamps. So if you're ever going to be a stamp collector, this is the time of year to start. Go down to the post office. Mommy's going to be sending out Christmas cards left and right and tell her, Mom, don't use a plain old dumb postage stamp. Get a good one. Get one that is a Christmas theme to go on a Christmas card. And so, lo and behold, we have some really good Christmas stamps to show you. So, Brianna is going to show us. This, what you see on the screen right now, is actually the picture of the very, very first Christmas card. Now, of course, this was in Victorian times, and so it was just a sketch. They didn't have all the, the famous lithography and the colorful things that we have today. It was just a sketch. And it only said in it, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And that was printed in England, and it wasn't until uh, in the 1960s that the United States Post Office started making Christmas-type postage stamps to go on the Christmas cards. So check the next one out. I'm going to show you the next one. This is a, a quad, which means there's four in a section, and it has the holly berry, the mistletoe, it has a poinsettia, and it has, I think that's pine cones, uh, on the stamp. So you could get a selection and then tear them apart and um, put them on your Christmas cards. What's really neat is the perforations. Those are the holes that are between the stamps that make it easy for you to tear those teeny weeny holes. They're called perforations. Those perforations were not until the 1880s uh, when a German uh, machinist figured out how to punch those little holes. Before that time you had to use a pair of scissors to cut a stamp apart or tear it and hope it tore in the right direction. So that's a good example of the perforations uh, that are uh, help you to tear the stamps easier. Let's see the next one, Brian. Oh yes, then we had in the uh, 1860s, we had um, the Civil War was going on and uh, President uh, Lincoln uh, knew that the men who were away from their homes for four Christmases during the Civil War, uh, 1861 to 1865, that they indeed were homesick. And so he went to the local New York newspaper, to the cartoonist, he was a political cartoonist, and his name is Thomas Nast, N-A-S-T. Thomas Nast was a political cartoonist for the New York Times right during the Civil War, and President Lincoln said, could you please make a sketch so that we could show the uh, Civil War soldiers a little bit of joy? And Thomas Nast decided that he was going to make the Santa Claus. This is one of the traditional Santa Clauses. A lot of this uh, traditional Santa Claus on this one with the carrying the Christmas tree, that's a German tradition that the German Santa Claus actually brings the Christmas tree as well. And see all the toys in his hands? And now that's a 34 cent stamp. 
and that's one of a series. Notice he has a red coat. Now this one is actually a Christmas ornament and this is a Santa Claus done on a glass ball. It's a hand-blown glass ball from Czechoslovakia and this comes in a quad also. There's four different colors of the balls, green, red, uh, I think purple and blue. And uh, that's a 37 cent stamp. Now let's see what our next one is. Again, this is another European version of the Santa Claus. Remember most of the people from uh, um, uh, came here from uh, Europe and they had their European Christmas traditions and they brought them with them. So that is here replicated in a stamp, a 34 cent stamp with again Santa Claus bringing the Christmas tree. And the next one? Oh yes, Thomas Nast is the uh, political cartoonist who actually drew the uh, Santa Claus that we see there. He sketched it. This one is a lot later. And also um, uh, a member of our family, uh, Clement C. Moore, um, uh, wrote a Christmas, uh, Christmas so uh, story. And uh, he didn't own up to, to writing the story because he was a dentist, a man of science. And he wrote this story, "Twas the night before Christmas. He wrote it for his daughter and his children as a, just a story to read them before they went to bed. Well, guess what? Being a dentist and a scientist never panned out. And eventually he had to own up to the fact that he wrote this story about St. Nicholas, a visit from Santa Claus. And in that story, he told about the red coat and the fur-lined hat and the fur-lined um, uh, boots and the, uh, the, the big, thick, wide belt. And that's the Santa that we know today. And that is thanks to Clement C. Moore, the author of Twas the Night Before Christmas, and also from Thomas Nast, who was the original uh, uh, um, uh, political satirist who did uh, a favor for Abraham Lincoln. What's our next stamp? Oh yes, toys were always very good. And you can see here that the um, perforations are very visible and you would just fold the stamp one time and the perforation would be easy enough to turn. We've got a toy sailboat, a toy fire truck, a toy train, and a rocking horse. All would have been Victorian toys uh, in the last century. What's the next one? Oh, I guess that was our last one. And so that's it for today with camp with uh, Mrs. Whitebriar, the, the, the stamp club section. We're going to close the meeting for the Ben Franklin Stamp Club, but don't go away because right here on Radio Vision Network, Camp with Mrs. Whitebriar will be right back with something for you to make and eat. We'll be right back. Choosing the right fence for your home or business is an important decision to make. Choose Anello Fence for peace of mind. Our family has manufactured and installed beautiful maintenance-free fence for over 50 years. We provide vinyl, aluminum, and wood fence in a wide variety of styles and colors, including chain-link fence for commercial and residential. Call or visit our indoor showroom and ask for Steve Anello and see how four generations of combined experience mean that you'll get quality and service that can't be matched by any other fencing company, period. Call Anello Fence today for a free estimate. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to give a sub some sizzle, this is the way. The way it's always been. The way it always should be. The way it always will be. Because that's just the way it's supposed to be. Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. My dream job is to run and manage my own spa one day. To be the general manager for the Jumeirah Hotel in Abu Dhabi, Dubai. I feel that Mercier has prepared me very well for my future in the hospitality industry. The kitchen is incredible. You are planning the meal, doing all the costing and the recipes. You're in charge of everything going on in the kitchen. 
they really do get you prepared and they want to make sure that you have a job after college. When it comes to injuries, they're not all created equal. That's why at Performance Spine and Sports Medicine, our team of doctors will coordinate and customize your care to provide the best treatment options using the area's most advanced medical technology. All with one goal in mind. To get you back in the game. We call life. Pain-free. Drug-free. Surgery-free. That's what we do here at Performance Spine and Sports Medicine. Get better faster. Stay better longer. Saving your business money is as easy as one, two, three. Tanker Consulting Services, a payment solutions expert, will show you how with a free, detailed, written analysis illustrating your cost savings. We usually uncover savings between 10 and 25 percent and sometimes more. We can help your business succeed by providing reliable and secure merchant payment solutions such as merchant services programs, point of sale systems, and ATM machines. TCS, one of the leaders in regional credit card processing consulting, offers electronic payments And we're back with Radio Vision Network, Camp with Mrs. Whitebriar. And today, this is our food segment, and we are going to play with apples today. We've got plenty here, and apples are very healthy for you, but we're not only going to make them healthy, we're going to make them fun. So what I'm going to do is first we washed and dried our apple, and we take a little teeny spoon, and all we're doing is cutting out the center of the apple. Now, if you don't have all the equipment that I have. This is called an apple corer. See what it does? All I do is push this down and then use this to push out the little piece of apple. And then we take a little piece of ribbon. You can use any type of ribbon that you want. And I like the Scottish colors of red plaid at Christmas time. And we're going to stick a piece of pine in there and also the ribbon. Then we're going to press down with our candle. Now, everybody can have a candle at their place. So again, take your little spoon with a sharp edge and just circle around. Take out the little core. Take a piece of ribbon. Ribbon's about that big. Any kind of ribbon will do. Push the ribbon in and push down with the candle. Now this one has lots of green in it and so you would have to be very careful with this one when you light it. But this one is pretty much safe. You can actually light the candle, make one for everybody who's coming to dinner and make one for everybody and then put it at their place and oh how pretty it will be for them to decorate the table at Christmas time. Um, you must remember that in the early days um, they did not have electric lights to be on the Christmas tree they actually had candles. Now to me to have a candle anywhere near evergreens I think oh my goodness there's going to be a fire but because the Christmas tree was cut the same day that the candles were lit the Christmas tree was so green and healthy and full of moisture that it could not catch fire. But then again, nobody left it burning while they walked away. You see, in Victorian times, when they used candles on a tree, everybody stood around the Christmas tree and watched the candles burn. And as the candles burned, if it got out of control for anything, you could nip it in the bud right then and there. And they watched the candles burn and they stood around the tree and sang Christmas carols until the candles were all finished. They did not relight the candles. The candles were lit only on Christmas Eve and only at that time when everybody was watching safely. So when you make these apples for your family for Christmas dinner or any fancy occasion, um, don't leave the candle lit. When you're finished, it can be lit while you're eating your dinner and while you're right there keeping an eye on it. And when you're finished, you blow it out and you save it and you can eat the apple. Delicious indeed. So that's it for this segment of our uh, 
food segment here on Radio Vision Network's Camp with Mrs. Whitefire, but don't go away. We're going to feed some animals after this, so come right back. See you in a minute. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to give a sub some sizzle, this is the way. The way it's always been. The way it always should be. The way it always will be. Because that's just the way it's supposed to be. Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. My dream job is to run and manage my own spa one day. To be the general manager for the Jumeirah Hotel in Abu Dhabi, Dubai. I feel that Mercier's has prepared me very well for my future in the hospitality industry. The kitchen is incredible. You are planning the meal, doing all the costing and the recipes. You're in charge of everything going on in the kitchen. They really do get you prepared and they want to make sure that you have a job after college. When it comes to injuries, they're not all created equal. That's why at Performance Spine and Sports Medicine, our team of doctors will coordinate and customize your care to provide the best treatment options using the area's most advanced medical technology. All with one goal in mind. To get you back in the game. We call life. Pain-free. Drug-free. Surgery-free. That's what we do here at Performance Spine and Sports Medicine. Get better faster. Stay better longer. Saving your business money is as easy as one, two, three. Tanker Consulting Services, a payment solutions expert, will show you how with a free, detailed, written analysis illustrating your cost savings. We usually uncover savings between 10 and 25 percent and sometimes more. We can help your business succeed by providing reliable and secure merchant payment solutions such as merchant services programs, point of sale systems, and ATM machines. TCS, one of the leaders in regional credit card processing consulting, offers electronic payments to merchants locally and nationwide through our preferred vendor programs. We work to keep business costs down with a comprehensive suite of quality products, services, and customized credit card processing programs exclusively tailored for your company. TCS is convenient, reliable, and innovative with customer service available 24-7, 365 days a year. Our in-depth industry knowledge, partnership strategy, and innovative processing solutions allow for a specialized approach to providing merchant bank processing with 100% full fee disclosure. TCS is one-stop shopping for all your merchant services solutions. Our clients save money 100% of the time. Trust Tanker Consulting Services, the knowledgeable, professional, and friendly provider of secure payment services. We set the standard by which others are measured. Call now for a free written analysis. 609-922-0201. Today's show has been sponsored by More Than Gifts. Come see our new location in Marlton, New Jersey. Not just gifts, but more. And we're back with Camp with Mrs. Whitebriar here on Radio Vision Network. And this segment has to do with recycling. We try to repurpose, don't waste, and reuse things so that they have a second life. Now, most of you have a pine tree out in your backyard somewhere, and you're going to find some pine cones. These pine cones were attached to this branch. This is a long needle pine, and they look so pretty exactly like this. They just hang right down, and there's delicious sap right on each of the pine cones. Best smell in the whole wide world. But we're going to make it even more fun. What we're going to do today is we're going to provide a craft that will feed the animals. Winter's coming along and, uh, you know, there's not so much food out there anymore. Winter stops everything from growing. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our pine cones and we're going to wrap a string, any kind of string around it, kind of make it strong enough so that if a squirrel wants to hang from it, he won't pull it out of the tree and tie it tight, knot it up, all right, and then lay two strings together 
and tie a knot at the other end. So now you can take this out into any tree and hang it just like that. But pine trees, pine cones hang in pine trees all the time. No big deal. So we're going to make it much more interesting. And what we're going to do is we're going to take peanut butter. Now, who is it that doesn't like peanut butter? Everybody likes peanut butter. All God's creatures love peanut butter. And we're going to take peanut butter and we're going to smear it on the pine cone. See how I'm doing it? Make sure your peanut butter is not out of the, just out of the refrigerator because it would be too hard to spread. And then, after we get it all sticky with the peanut butter, then we're going to take some seeds. Now, I happen to have little pieces of uh, popcorn. I have little pieces of all different kinds of good things that a squirrel might like to eat. And I'm going to just sprinkle it on. See the popcorn? And I'm going to roll it in so that I got plenty. And when I lift it up, it's going to look like this. It's going to be filled. It's got pieces of chopped up mushroom. It's got dried cranberries. It's got dried popcorn on it. And it's going to hang out in the tree. And just the smell of the peanut butter alone uh, will definitely uh, attract the animals in the wintertime. So you make that little treat. Hang it out there. And you can also use carrots. Hang them by a string. They look like icicles. You can spread the peanut butter on them too if you wish. Or you can use an apple, okay, cut an apple in half and hang it out in the trees so that all the animals have plenty to eat in its cold, cold winter that's coming. So this is Radio Vision Network. It's Camp with Mrs. Whitebriar is the show. And this segment is our arts and crafts, recycle, reuse, and repurpose. So we took a pine cone and we put peanut butter on it and then rolled it in all kinds of seeds, popcorn and any other seeds or crackers or cereal that you have around the house. And we hang it in the tree for the animals. But don't go away. We're going to talk about deer when we come back on our animal segment here at Radio Vision Network Camp with Mrs. Whitebriar. So stay tuned. Choosing the right fence for your home or business is an important decision to make. Choose a Nello fence for peace of mind. Our family has manufactured and installed beautiful maintenance-free fence for over 50 years. We provide vinyl, aluminum, and wood fence in a wide variety of styles and colors, including chain link fence for commercial and residential. Call or visit our indoor showroom and ask for Steve Anello and see how four generations of combined experience mean that you'll get quality and service that can't be matched by any other fencing company, period. Call Anello Fence today for a free estimate. When it's time for Jersey Mike's to give a sub some sizzle, this is the way. The way it's always been. The way it always should be. The way it always will be. Because that's just the way it's supposed to be. Jersey Mike's, be a sub above. My dream job is to run and manage my own spa one day. To be the general manager for the Jumeirah Hotel in Abu Dhabi, Dubai. I feel that Mercier's has prepared me very well for my future in the hospitality industry. The kitchen is incredible. You are planning the meal, doing all the costing and the recipes. You're in charge of everything going on in the kitchen. 
They really do get you prepared and they want to make sure that you have a job after college. When it comes to injuries, they're not all created equal. That's why at Performance Spine and Sports Medicine, our team of doctors will coordinate and customize your care to provide the best treatment options using the area's most advanced medical technology. All with one goal in mind. To get you back in the game. We call life. Pain-free. Drug-free. And here we are at Radio Vision Network, camp with Mrs. Whitebriar, and I brought a white-tailed deer with me today. No, I couldn't run out in the field and catch one, but I was able to take this one off the wall in my living room. Uh, this is a deer from Pennsylvania, and this is a typical size, about 150 pounds for a white-tailed deer in Pennsylvania. In New Jersey, where there's less to eat, the deer are only maybe 125 pounds. It's still plenty of meat. Uh, and uh, of course the antlers, the rack they have on top of their head, can be anywhere from just one little pokey uh, from a year old deer to this many uh, six or eight points uh, on his antlers, which shows that he has had plenty of nutrition throughout the year. And it's marvelous that they lose that entire rack every single year and they grow all this. So if there's only a very small rack and not too many points, as they call them, uh, it's because it was not a season where they had plenty to eat. Now, there are many animal lovers in the world who don't believe in eating meat. I personally am a meat eater uh, because the teeth in my mouth show that that's what my mouth was made for. It has uh, long tearing teeth, one on each side. And um, the animals here on the east coast of the United States uh, are so abundant. We have more deer here uh, on the east coast of New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, um, New York, uh, right on up, than we have more deer here than were here 300 years ago when Ben Franklin was alive. As a matter of fact, we have more deer in the millions all over the United States because there's always plenty for them to eat so they can survive. We have problems with deer overpopulations. When you come in and build housing developments in land where the deer used to roam freely, um, there are problems. Sometimes the deer get into trash cans like bears do. Sometimes the deers get hit on, on highways uh, and cause accidents. All this because we have too many deer uh, and they need to be harvested. Harvested means taking deer like this one and uh, bringing it home and not wasting any single solitary part of it, using every single part. When I bring a deer home, I use the meat for steaks and roast beef and for uh, stews and all the bones are given to my two dogs, Yuppie Puppy and Bandit, and they love it. And it makes the dogs healthy too because they get to chew on the bones, something that is natural, something that's not plastic like they sell in the stores. So there are plenty of deer around. So for you animal lovers who think it's cruel to kill a deer, it is absolutely not. This is the way we harvest them. We harvest them very humanely. Uh, we only, um, kill them if we know that the shot that we have is going to kill them instantly. So we don't want any animal to suffer. Suffering is part of the problem. Uh, in many communities in North Jersey, uh, all the bushes get eaten by the deer. And the people, the homeowners are very upset and they want to have a, a um, get rid of the deer, get rid of the deer. Well, the deer were there first, folks, and because you came in and put your house and your farmland in the middle of their farmland and, and you planted bushes that are very tasty to the deer, it's not their fault. The deer are also trapped because of 295, the interstate, and also the New Jersey Turnpike, which go up and down the state of New Jersey, north to south. The deer cannot migrate to their uh, grazing grounds as easily as they could before those roads were there. So then, of course, the deer are trying to cross the highway and there come 10 tractor trailers and they get hit and cause an accident and that's a problem as well. So harvesting the deer in a humane way and using every part of the body, use the meat for steaks to make people healthy 
and use the bones and let your dogs chew on them or make a, a nice uh, bone broth soup with the bones. That's the way we have to think of our deer here in New Jersey and on the East Coast. So our deer today is a white-tailed deer. And as I said, about 135 pounds they grow to in New Jersey and about 150 pounds in Pennsylvania because there's plenty of more cornfields in Pennsylvania than there is in New Jersey. We seem to be growing houses in the New Jersey on our farmland and the poor deer are left out. So next time you see a deer hit on the road, uh, think about that. Think about that it's a sad thing, but it, the deer were here first, so we should accommodate them as best we can. So this is Camp with Mrs. Whitebriar, and this was our animal segment today on the white-tailed deer. And we will see you next time on Radio Vision Network, Camp with Mrs. Whitebriar. I'm Carol Moore, wishing all of you that you don't see a dead deer along the road and that the deer do not cause any accidents, but they were here first, so we have to accommodate them in the best we can. So have a great week. We'll see you next time on Radio Vision Network, Camp with Mrs. Whitebriar. Choosing the right fence for your home or business is an important decision to make. Choose a Nello fence for peace of mind. Our family has manufactured and installed beautiful maintenance-free fence for over 50 years. We provide vinyl, aluminum, and wood fence in a wide variety of styles and colors, including chain link fence for commercial and residential. Call or visit our indoor showroom and ask for Steve Anello and see how four generations of combined experience mean that you'll get quality and service that can't be matched by any other fencing company, period. Call Anello Fence today for a free estimate.